everybody, Dean Sharp, the House Whisper, host of Home on KFI, coming to you every Sunday morning from 9 to 11. I'm all gussied up and back here in my kitchen again because I want to talk to you today about cooktops. Ever since the modern cooktop was created, we've basically had two choices, electric or gas. The electric style, of course, the old coil or the newer under ceramic glass halogen coils. And gas, well, gas is gas. The whole idea is very simple. A strong heat source that excites the molecules in the bottom of a pan. Those excited molecules heat up the pan and therefore they heat up the food. Well, until recently, there has been a clear hierarchy when it comes to cooktops. Electric coil, electric halogen, and gas. Now, I really love electric when it comes to an actual oven. In fact, a lot of chefs prefer electric ovens over gas ovens. But when it comes to cooktops, electric coils and even electric halogen, they're a little slow on the uptake. You turn them up, they come up too slowly. You turn them down, they respond too slowly. You don't get quite as much power as you get from gas. It's hot, it's powerful, it's precise, it's up, it's down, it's everything you want in a cooktop. And it has been the unrivaled king for years and years, until lately. There is a new challenger on the field, a completely different technology for exciting the molecules in this pan. It generates no heat, it's even more responsive than gas, and the claim is it's more powerful, and it's called an induction cooktop. So you're in the middle of deciding what cooktop to replace your old one with, and either way, you're gonna drop a good chunk of change for it, so you should be informed as to what all your options are. The induction people, they're making big claims, like I just said, more accurate, more powerful, no heat, safer, faster, better. Is it really true? I think we should test it out. Here's the only problem. I don't own an induction cooktop. What I do have is this $3,000 GE Cafe Series gas cooktop range with a front left power boil burner cranking out about 18,000 BTU. And I figure, you know what? That's as good a burner as any to run up against an induction test. So what will today's challenger be? Well, it's going to have to be this $69 induction hot plate that I just bought at Costco this afternoon. Now, this guy is as weak as induction cooktops come, and it's going to be a lot less powerful than the one that you would use to install in place of your existing cooktop. But it's all I got. So if induction cooktop claims are even halfway true, well, now is their chance to shine. It's the $69 induction hot plate versus the $3,000 18,000 BTU gas burner. It's a simple test. My favorite tea kettle and two cups of cold water. Once on the cooktop, once on the hot plate, and we time them both. Let's see what happens. Wow, almost a full minute faster. If I hadn't done it myself, honestly, it would be hard to believe. But you saw it, I saw it, it's $69. It's pretty impressive. And here's something else that's really impressive. It's on right now, on high, and I don't feel anything. Because guess what? I'm not made out of ferrous metal. It has no effect on us, it only affects 
these guys, and that makes it a pretty spectacular new innovation in appliance technology. Are there pros and cons to everything? Sure. But now you've got one more option to consider, and you should, because I have a feeling we're looking at the future of cooktops. Yep, it's pretty magical, and yes, I am boiling this pan of water through a folded up tea towel. It's warm. It's warm because of the pan, not because of the surface. Pretty amazing stuff. One last thing. A lot of people are under the misconception that it takes specialized cookware to work with an induction cooktop. And that's not really true. What it takes is magnetic cookware. In other words, anything that you own, pot or pan, that a magnet would stick to is good to go with induction. That means copper and aluminum are out. But good old stainless steel, most non-stick, and oh, tried and true, cast iron works like a champ on an induction cooktop. Okay, well, have a happy time looking for your new cooktop. We'll talk soon, and before we go, here's one last piece of magic for you.